Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll explain you Heart of the Tree poem which was written by Henry Color Bernard. So I'll explain you the first stanza of the poem now. What does he plant? Who plants a tree? So actually the poet is asking about uh, the question. Okay, so what is he asking here? He is asking about the person, whoever is planting a tree. What is he actually doing by planting a tree? Does he get anything in return? What is the purpose of uh, planting trees? So he was asking that question to the each and every reader. Okay, so whoever is reading the poem, they are getting this question. He plants a friend of sun and sky. Okay, so a person who is planting a tree, he is making some friends. Okay, so he is making a friend for sun and also the sky. Okay, so because if a tree is growing, the tree will make friendship with the sun and sky. The trees are making the food. Okay, so when trees are making the food, they need the sunlight. Okay, so when they are making their food with the help of the sunlight. Okay, so that procedure of making the food is called as photosynthesis. So during the procedure of food making, okay, so these trees or these plants need the sunlight. So this is how the trees are having a friend sun. He plants the flag of breezes free. So here the breeze means air. So we are getting the free breezes. Okay, so we are getting the air for free. These plants are standing like a flag in the air and they are providing the air. So they are like the flag which provide the air to the human beings. Okay, the shaft of beauty towering high. And these plants are making or creating some beautiful sight for the every creature okay so if you are walking in the midst of the trees and plants you will be happy after watching that pleasant sight that gives you some peaceful atmosphere you can be happy after you walked in such kind of an atmosphere so in the same way the poet is giving the more importance to the plants so once you can plant the land the land will look very beautiful okay so the plain land can be very beautiful okay so that greenery literally makes you happy that greenery gives you some peaceful mind okay so you can be relaxed the stress will be gone after seeing such a kind of greenery you know sight shaft of beauty towering and these trees are growing up to the sky actually these trees are not growing up to the sky but it is an exaggeration the poet is giving more importance okay so why the poets are using this exaggeration to attract the audience, to attract the readers, okay? So that is why he is telling that the trees are going like a tower to the sky, as if they are approaching the sky. That is why the poet was telling that the trees are becoming the friends of the sun and sky, okay? So they are going uh, up to the sky, okay? So the growth of the trees is very high for some of the trees. If you can see, some of the trees are going too high, like coconut trees. Okay. Home to heaven and I. He plans a home to heaven and I. So, if you can imagine the atmosphere in the heaven. Okay, so heaven is very peaceful. The souls will be worshipping the Lord. Okay, the atmosphere is very calm, very pleasant. Okay, so you can have that peaceful atmosphere after your death. If you can lead a wonderful righteous life on this universe after your death, okay, so you can be relaxed and you can have the peaceful atmosphere in the heaven. Your soul will be in peace. Okay, so that is why the poet is telling that if you can plant a tree, you can experience the heavenly atmosphere on this very earth. Actually, after the death, you can see the heaven. But here the poet is telling that he is giving more importance to the people who are planting the trees on this earth. Whoever is planting a tree, they are creating the heavenly atmosphere on this earth. Okay. For a song and mother crude of bird. So the poet is also telling that. Okay. So if you can plant a plant, if you can sow a seed in the land, it will be sprouted okay so it will be germinated so it will be grown up it will become a large tree after many years the trees branches can be spread up all through the house sometimes it may go beyond our house 
it may spread out the compound walls of the neighbors okay so those people can also experience the benefits of these trees they can also get the shadow from this tree they can also get the fruits and flowers from our tree they will also enjoy the benefits so a person who is planting a tree they have some concern on the neighborhood also song and mother crude of a bird so the birds especially they construct their nests on the branches of the trees so when they construct the nests on the branches of the trees okay the mother birds will lay the eggs the eggs will become the baby birds okay so these baby birds have to sleep okay so the mother birds are singing the songs lullabies okay so lullaby means a song which can be sung for making the baby to sleep mother sings these songs okay so for making their babies to sleep and these mother birds are singing such songs on the branches of the tree so if you can plant a tree if you are the owner of that tree you can enjoy the beautiful sounds and songs of the mother bird so that in a hushed and happy twilight heard so everything is very quiet everything is calm okay so in such a kind of atmosphere in such a time okay twilight happy twilight heard and the atmosphere and if you can see uh the very morning okay and the sunrise so during that time you can listen the sound of the mother's songs okay so mother baby mother songs for the babies okay these things he plants who plants a tree treble of heaven's harmony and also it is like the poet compares the planting of the trees to the scoring a treble in a dartboard game when a player creates a perfect harmony so for example when you have a better unity for example we are creating one song and all the musicians are also available here so if every musician listens to the other person coordinates with the other people in the group so then we are the outcome uh, the outcome and the output can be very nice okay so in the same way if all the musical instruments play together at a one time if they have that coordination then it looks very nice okay so you can hear a very beautiful wonderful melodious music okay so in the same way if a darting board you have to target the midst point there only you have to uh target okay so if you can do that if you can have such a harmony if you can have such a control over you then you can score okay so in the same way if you plant so many trees you will also get many advantages and also the benefits okay so that is why the poet is telling that you have to plant a tree for getting the sunlight okay so for creating a friends of sun and sky and you will get the free breezes okay and the atmosphere will be very beautiful the land will be very beautiful because the land will be covered with the many plants and flowers and you can listen the songs of the mother crone of a bird in the very silent and a quiet weather okay so these are all the things which were being done by the person whoever is planting a tree